Now, that is big. You know, you're talking about maybe a TSA of 9 or 10 million. So it's five times the size of Scott FM. But Scott FM was very, very, very successful. And uh, the half-witteds, the half-witteds that got rid of that were, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just, you know, it doesn't bear thinking about. Thank you, do, Scotty. This is the wonderful J Dog. Thank you, do, J Dog. Lovely to have you with us. Gavin Giant says, dropped bombs, lol. Loved it when you were in the wireless. Gavin, were you a Hallam FM listener? Was that the one? Are you a Hallam FM man? I was wondering about that. So there we are. Let me see if I can get this thing going here. I seem to have disappeared. <laughs> Wonderful. I seem to have disappeared up my own YouTube. Scotty, you're looking fresh. I love the beard. I thank you. The beard is, uh, I've just decided to keep it. You know, I mean, it's very smart. Very smart. <laughs> there we are. It's just a fresh trim. Do you remember Mr. Martin? So funny. Said the wonderful Ian Riddle. Oh, Mr. Martin. He tried to get me set. I see, I learn once again, this show is very educational. Oh, Richard, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. You want to see the stuff I am reading at the moment? Absolutely incredible. Do you know that um, Lord Reith could not stand Winston Churchill? And Winston Churchill called him Wuthering Height. Oh, I just found that out. This week, I thought that was incredible. Was it Barnes and Lasses you said that dropped bombs? I remember that. It was indeed Hallam FM. Hallam FM, top radio station, that top radio. Should we be letting flights in from London right now, says Mon Media, considering other countries have banned flights from London because of the new virus? Well, I found it a little bit strange that um, they'd included the border said we don't want anything in Scotland over the border because Viri do not, you know, they, they do not discriminate. They don't go, oh, they're welcome to Alba. We'd better stop the spread. You know, that sort of idea. I don't see what the difference is between, say, Eagles Field and um, Eagles Field and uh, Weatherall. You know, that sort of idea. So it seems a bit strange that. But as for flights, I don't think we should be having flights from London into Scotland if we've not got drivers coming into Scotland. So there you are. That's what I think there, loves. I'll tell you that for nothing. Now, let me just get this out here. There we go. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm fully operational here at the same time. Tremendous stuff. Oh, very skilled, very skilled. <laughs> uh, so there we are. So no, but what do you guys think? Do you think we should be allowing the flights in? Do tell me, because I'm always interested in what you guys think. This is what proper talk radio is about. It's about the people. And uh, how many shows are there that really just get the people on for the chit chat you know, there's all these that, oh, we're taking a call from this semi-quasi-professional caller. Get the people on. And uh, if they don't know how to use the wireless, teach them. Happy Christmas, Scotty, says Anthony Mac. Dinky-doo. Yes, should we be letting flights in do tell? Wonderful, wonderful. That would be superb. Right. That's doing its stuff there. Uh, I'm going to shoot back here. And see if I can uh, find myself again on the internet. <laughs> Ban the flights now, says Mon Media. Yes, Mon Media. <coughs> if we are not allowed to travel south of the border at all, uh, yes, the United Kingdom is the United Kingdom. It is at the moment, Richard Mackay. But I suspect Brexit will cause, uh, you know, economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the UK. That will be your result of Brexit. You watch. You mark my words. Tell you that. Mm. Lovely. Uh, will this be your own radio station, Scott, here? A new setup altogether? No, it's not my radio station, 